shout out to this guy who hit me up on Twitter. Twitter's a good place to say thank you. To tell me how you did on your last test. You don't have to follow. Just stop by. Say hi. I'm going to try to get even on this next one. What do we have? We're left with this task. We want to find two consecutive even numbers such that the sum of the smaller and five times the larger is 46. And you're like, sick. What are you going to do? Well, we're going to set up two consecutive even numbers. What does that mean? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute. I need an even number. 10. What's the next number after 10? The next even number? 12. What about, what about, what about 20? What's the next even number after 20? 22. What about, what about 4? What's the next even number after 4? 6. So, I'm asking you, what was the next even number after 10? And you told me. 12. How did you get there? Add 2. Then I was like, what's the next even number after 20? You were like 22. Well, how did you get there? You added 2. Then once more, I ask you, what's the next even number after 4? And you told me it was 6, and how did you get there? You added 2. So we're going to have two even numbers here, see? One of them is going to be the smaller. You don't know what it is. Let's call it x. What's next? Let's get the next even number. Let's just call that the larger. How are we going to get there? We're going to add 2. This is x plus 2. Now, here's an audible and a little bit more. A caveat, if you will. If I were just looking for consecutive numbers, what's the number after 6? 7. What's the number after 9? 10. How did you get from 6 to 7? Added 1. How did you get from 9 to 10? added one. So, if you were looking for consecutive numbers, you wouldn't add two. You'd add one. Fun. All right. Some books, even more on it. They'll be like, whoop, three consecutive evens. So, what would we do? We would add two to this. So then this would be x plus two plus two, or that would be x plus four. Now, I'm just going through those examples. Mm -hmm on a tangent, if you will. We're not dealing with this one right here. We're dealing with this one right there. Find two consecutive even numbers such that the sum of the smaller and five times the larger is 46. So now, let's set that up. What do we have? We have the sum of the smaller and five times the larger. That has to be 46. I'm putting in this extra step so we can see where these x's are going to come from, see? Well, we do know what the smaller number is. It's x. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to put x right there. And then I'm going to add to it five times the larger number. But we knew what the larger number was, too. Well, almost do. We have it in code, incognito. It's x plus 2, and I'm like, neato. And then, that need to be 46. And now it's at the point where we need to finish him. Yeah, finish him. Yeah, getting even. This is going to be x plus, wait for it, wait for it. Ooh, ooh. And I have 5, x plus 10. Then, that's still going to be equal to 46. I'm going to gather, collect, and combine. Gather, collect, and combine. And I'm going to get 6x plus 10 is 46. Finish him. I subtract the 10 off each side. And when I do, I'm going to have a 6x is equal to 36. All right. I divide both sides by 6, and x turns out to be 6. Sick! Well, what's that? That's my smaller number. So if my smaller number is 6, what's 6 plus 2? 8. Great. So my numbers are 6 and 8. Boxing flower. Now, you know what? Grow a pair. So this is an even problem of flowers.